Good afternoon, Jesse here from JP Modified. Last week I released a video of the Avexa Raiden RAMs and the Impact RAMs I received and obviously I needed a ROG motherboard to go with that. So the good folks over at Asus were kind enough to send me a motherboard. What I have right now here is the Asus Maximus 8 Hero and I'd like to take you guys along to take a quick look if you haven't seen this board already. On the outside, we see some of the usual beautiful Asus packaging. Now, what I've noticed with the newer boards, even from the ones that came before the Maximus 8 uh, motherboards, they came with flaps. All right now, behind the flap, you will see all the features that uh, this motherboard has to offer. And a quick look at uh, what's inside, uh, the actual look of the motherboard itself. This box has already been opened for checking over at the ASUS headquarters so there's not going to be any protective tape on it so it's an easier unboxing for me I guess. Now before we take a quick look at the motherboard let's go ahead and take a look at what it comes with. So here you have the driver CD, some of the ASUS stickers or labels, the SATA connectors and I'm not sure what this is for, but yeah, it's there. It's the socket cover, but it has a hole here. You have the ROG SLI bridge. You have the manual. You have a quick connect, and that's basically it. That's all I see in the motherboard box. I don't even see an IO shield here, so I'm gonna have to contact Asus regarding that. This is a sample. This is not brand new. Uh, they sent it over for me to um, do a build with and to showcase also the Avexor RAMs. So let's put that aside and move forward with looking at the motherboard itself. I've already built with this motherboard before, or not this specific motherboard, but with the newer Asus Hero board. This video is for those of you guys who haven't seen this board up close yet. So carefully, I'm taking this off its box, not to break anything. This is a big leap from the previous Hero they released. Uh, you see the usual three PCIe express lanes. This ROG logo here is RGB, or at least it has different colors. So whatever your theme will be, or whatever color you'd want this logo to be, it would be just an easy color change at the BIOS or something, or a utility that you'll have on this motherboard. Four DDR4 slots, and um, this part here is what sets it apart in a large way from Maximus Hero 7. This is premium grade cover for the heat sinks for the VRMs. Some of the features here have been carried off from uh, previous generation ROG boards, such as the Supreme FX audio. They've added a cover on this portion right here, so I'm not really sure if you'll see the LED pass through like you did on the last Maximus Hero board. The back, you'll have your usual connectors. Okay, there's one here for the HDMI, there's one here for the display port, four USB 2.0 ports, and two USB 3.0 ports. I think this is a reversible USB, I'm not sure, and um, another USB 3.0 port, and usual audio jacks. So basically, this is just a quick look at the motherboard itself. Now, I'm going to be doing a build on this. It's gonna be fully custom cooled, with, of course, the Vexor Raiden RAMs on this part right here. All in all, this is a very gorgeous board. Um, one of the best I've seen. I showed you guys a picture, or I mean a video of the Raiden RAMs that I'm so desperately excited to put on a build. So Asus gave me an opportunity to showcase um, again uh, my work and also an opportunity to showcase also the RAMs that uh, have been made uh, for their board exclusively. So I will take you guys along with me as I do the build and um, hopefully it'll come out uh, as I'm envisioning it to. So stay subbed and See you guys very soon.